So some chord progressions can definitely be a little confusing about what scale to use if you're trying to just narrow it down to one for improvising if you want to keep it simple. So one of the best ways to figure this stuff out is just hearing examples. So what I'm going to do is rather than just tell you uh, what I think works over a particular progression for an example, I'm going to play over this four chord progression that doesn't have the clearest key and I'm going to use three different scales and I want you to just listen and you determine what you think sounds best and keep in mind I'm not going to try to you know bend these scales to make them sound musical and things because you can kind of do that with anything you know if you just play things a certain way I'm going to kind of just play up the scales kind of up and down a little bit so you kind of hear how the uh, the notes overall sound with the progression and um, so sometimes it's not going to sound that great but I want you to determine what you think sounds the best or just fits the best and then I'm going to break down afterwards what the progression actually is what scales I was using and even which one I think works the best but that's not the most important thing here so give it a listen and uh, see what you think So this is a backing track uh, for a great tune, Space Captain, that I recently made. And the progression is a G7, A minor, F, and C7. And it does it again, G7, A minor, and it hangs on the F for a full measure. So it's an 8-bar progression, but four uh, different chords. So you may think, oh yeah, a lot of people just play, oh well the first chord, G, right? Oh that's easy. It's gotta be G, but is it really G? I don't know, there's a, there's just different stuff in there. It's def definitely not a G major, because you got an F right in there, and it's a G7 chord. So I I'm gonna talk, you know, not too theoretically here. I'm gonna get into a little bit, but I wanna again, focus on just how things sound. So that first scale, I was playing everything right up here, was a G major pentatonic. So I'm gonna look at just pentatonic scales to keep it really easy. And you know, it sort of worked. Um, you know, obviously it works over a G7 or just a G major chord. Obviously matches right up, sounds perfect. Um, but to me it didn't work that great because the overall sound has got a little bit of a bluesy edge even though it's definitely not a blues song. But it's got two seventh chords in there, the G7 and the C7. And then that F2 against the G gives you a little bit of this edge and the G major pentatonic is more of a smooth sounding, you know, sweet sounding. It fits almost too perfectly. So it works, but I find that the next, I found that the next one, G minor pentatonic is what it was. And that kind of gave you a little more edge because typically in a blues, if you're playing, you know, over G blues and you get the G major, G7, you know, you can use again with pentatonics, both G major, G minor pentatonic, but but the G minor pentatonic is, or the full blues scale, which is just adding that little blue note, uh, is gonna be much more the popular choice because it gives you a little more of that edge that you, you want. You want that tension, and you can kind of work on that tension and resolving it. But if it's all just kind of sweet sounding fits in, it's a little harder to get that, that tension uh, that, you, that you might want. So that was the second scale choice. And the third one was a C minor pentatonic. Now, the C um, happens the least. It's very brief, so you think, why would we do that? Um, you know, why not? If you're going by, again, the, if, you're, if you're using just logic, people might say, well, G. A lot of people just assume whatever the first chord of a progression, that's the key, and you just kind of go um, with that, and you match it up. So if it was a G major chord, you do the G major scale or G major pentatonic, and it doesn't always, doesn't always work. As we just looked at, you know, sometimes you want minor over it because um, at least the minor pentatonic or the blue scale because it gives you more and more of that, that edge, the, the tension you want. But the first chord is not always the key too. You know, if, if you're also going by logic, you could say F. I didn't use F, any kind of F scale, but that F chord happens more than anything else because it hangs, 
the last measure and hanging it for the whole measure. All the chords go for two beats, except that last F, so that goes for longer than anything. But yet, it sounds really like it's hanging there. You know, it's not. That's not where where you know everything wants to go. And that C7 kind of just works. I don't know that C. But if you do um, C major, it's like oh, actually could have done that, but I wanted to just keep it to three three options, not get too complicated. That could work too. But the C minor gives it that bluesy um, edge, and that C note kind of works over all of them. Doesn't work that well over the G chord, but if you get into the specific chords, works well over A minor because there's a there's a C in there. Works over the F. There's a C in the F, and then obviously over the C7. So there's a C note over three to four chords. So, so if you just kind of kept going back to that C, it kind of works uh, nicely. Now I also like the, in the G minor pentatonic, that D note right there, that works nice too. So you could work on combining them. And uh, you know, it's all about shaping things. So the idea here is not to think too logically, maybe use a little logic to start out, like to say, okay, what well, was a G? Is it C7? You know what? When, oh, do we do G minor over? Does that work a little better? But really use your ears to guide you through because there's really no clear answer, even though I'm sure there's going to be people who are saying, no, it clearly is this, clear as that. Uh, I keep making more videos on this gray area of music and I get more and more comments of people telling me that I'm flat out wrong and all these things. And, uh, you know, you can think of it however you want. Whatever works for you, I think, is the idea. And the more more backlash I get with this is right, this is wrong, probably you're going to make me want to motivate me to more make more videos like this, right? Um, because I just don't think it's that clear and there's no clear choice. But I like the C minor pentatonic or C blues scale kind of works over this. But again, G, G minor works well too. So try out different things yourself and hopefully this uh, will just make it more clear that things are not always that clear. And you just got to try things out and in the end there's no right or wrong answer. But the best way to really get the stuff down is to try it yourself. So if you've got your guitar, you got time, try the link over here. This will take you to the backing track itself. Just scroll up to the middle or so to the guitar part, uh, guitar solo part, and I have the C blues scale, a couple charts, two or three on there. You can try it out, but try out G minor, G major, all that stuff yourself, and figure it out yourself, and just try shaping it into some musical stuff. So have fun with that, and I'll see you in the next video.